Welcome, this is Jeremy with Math Boot Camps. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to find the inverse of a matrix using the TI-84, but this will also work for a TI-83 calculator. Now to input a matrix before you go trying to find the inverse, if you look right above your x to the minus 1 power uh, button, you'll see a blue matrix button, and so you press second and press that, and you'll come into this menu. Now on the older TI-83s, there's actually a button that says matrix. Now you see here for number one, I don't have anything in here. Even if you do, that doesn't matter. What you want to do is go over to edit and edit matrix one. So I'm going to edit this matrix. Now you got to give it some kind of matrix size. So I'm going to give it three by three. So notice that it's setting it up. It's asking how many rows, that's the first number. So I said three, how many columns? I said three. All right, so I'm going to just type some numbers in here. Hopefully I give us a matrix that is uh, invertible. In other words, that has an inverse, because remember, not all matrices have inverses. OK, so let's see if I can manage to pull this off. Got my numbers in here. So we're going to find out if this matrix is invertible by trying to find the inverse. Now, to make sure for all calculators that this works, your next step is to quit out of here. If you go straight to the inverse, it'll try to put the inverse in this spot, which is kind of strange. So I'm going to go to second and mode to quit. Then I'm going to go back into matrix, so second and x to the minus 1 power. Right here on this menu, I'm going to press enter to bring up matrix A. And I'm going to press that x to the minus 1 power. And press enter. And here is my inverse. It's not pretty. Not all inverses are pretty. In fact, usually they're not. But here is my matrix inverse. Now, what if I want this to look a little prettier? Um, one trick that I can do is I can press uh, the math button. I can go to number one fraction, press enter, and that's a little bit better. I don't know if 31 over 103 is a nice fraction at all, but at least now I have it in a form that's a little bit better to work with and write down. All I'm doing is pressing the left and right keys to see the whole thing. 